Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the home of the Rice Owls, where we are anticipating a full house of fans who give a hoot. Today, a battle in the Lone Star State, and when you play another team from Texas, it just feels a little bit bigger. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Sam Houston Bearcats, taking on a team from the AAC, the Rice Owls. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Ready to kick it off and get this game started. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Sam Houston's offense will get the first crack at it here. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead this offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. The run from the shotgun. At the 45 on its way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They move the tight end all over. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The give to the back. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. And the Bearcats will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The gift to the back. Trying to pound their way forward. He picks up a couple to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking downfield, it's Bauer. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Fires to the right. Makes the grab. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Bearcats! They draw first blood, and that is exactly what you want to open the season with a drive like that. The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And he found his way to the end zone from the 7 to cap it. And he takes this from inside the 5. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Rice Owls offense will go to work for the first time today. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. Going to the running game. They believe in that running game, got six before he stopped at the 23. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. 
running to the left. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Line is set on third down. Dropping back, it's Warner. Getting some heat. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. Really impressed with how this team has seized momentum here, playing on the road in this hostile environment. Their offense gets it first. They march down the field. They put up some points. And here's the defense now on their first drive, getting a critical sack on third down. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Discards a man. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Now on first down from the 28. He wants to throw. They're trying to get to him. Coming after it. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. He's looking to throw. On target to the left. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready or is this already four down territory? Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. Doesn't have a straight-on shot here. He'll kick it from the left hash and 39 yards out. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? You guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. NC State delivered the knockout blow early in this one. En route to the type of win that can turn some heads there in the ACC. Trust me when I say the party is on in Raleigh. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome. And certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And the returner goes down. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. RPO complete to open the drive. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. And on second down for this offense. Holds and fires complete to the right. Fighting off the defender. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After the miscue, first and 15 for this offense. Looking for a gap. It's Connors. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Hand off from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Warner. Pocket starts to collapse. He makes the connection. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. 
Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game. Third and ten, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the period, and Sam Houston has the lead. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Give to the single back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Escapes trouble. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And the Bearcats line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. The fair catch called for and made. Rice has the ball back and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. On the ground, it's Connors running with power. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Now on first down from the 30. They're going to ride this running back, finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Good spot after that 7-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. Rice rushes to the line. Well, at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game He's up to 55 yards rushing, and that is quite an impressive first half here in this season opener. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. And now on third down after that last run. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Owls pick up the first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires to the big fella. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism. And he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Back to pass, it's Warner. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. There's a reason third down is called the money run. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Just so smooth along the sideline to drag that toe and get the completion. Brings up second down. Oh, it's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. 
and they weren't able to get him in the middle of the field. So now a 49-yarder from the right hash. And it's no good. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. Still a 10-point game. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The misfire on the 49-yard field goal attempt sets him up with pretty good field position at the 32. Hard running there. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Trying play action. Fires to the wideout. Catch in the middle, it's Phillips. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. He'll keep it himself. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. They'll run it from the gun. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. The Bearcats are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Now on first and ten from the 35. From the gun, the give, looking for room. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. If it works, they tried to follow up the big run with a pass and didn't work out for them. Now, how about a good job by the defense? You know, sometimes when you when you give up runs, you get more aggressive. You want to bring more guys to the line of scrimmage, and you want to overreact. The defense stayed calm, stayed true, came up with a big sack the next play. Really need to find a productive play this time on second and long. Wants to throw. It's Bauer. The throw to the outside is complete. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Now he's going to break the pocket. Trying to escape and get it himself. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Field goal is good. And that lead grows even bigger. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a high level. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. Looking to take a shot. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Take the return out of the equation in this rainy weather. Fair catch is signal four and made. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Smith. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Looking to pass on second down. 
And that pass intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. Rain, sleet, snow, sun shining. I don't care. I get interceptions. Give me that run. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points, and you've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Line getting set on second down. To throw, it's Warner. Looking left. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds. Incomplete. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top pressure coming another incompletion on third down now on fourth down here comes the field goal team and he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hatch it's good and that was dead solid perfect Putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. Looking to go up top on first down. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wide out. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Looking to pass. It's Bowie. Looking down the middle. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. Wide open downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. The Bearcats getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And the ball is intercepted. Didn't get a ton on the return, but they've got it inside the 20th the 19-yard line. Well, we know these are slick conditions today in this game. Wide receiver just didn't seem to really get a good grasp on the ball when it hit his hands. It didn't stick right away. There's a, a bit of a bobble, and because of it, the defense able to come away with the pick. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Let's see if they play it conservatively and try to get some of the yardage back on second and long from the 13. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. 
The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. The first down for the offense. Back to throw. It's Bauer. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Bearcats will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Though the offense has had enough, they'll take a knee and wrap up this first half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, fellows, the end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Houston. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? And how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside historic Rice Stadium. And the Bearcats will kick it away to start the second half. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. They've got to find a way to run the ball at least. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. Touchdown, Sam Houston. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. And this is exactly what you dream about for a defense. Forcing the big turnover, making the pick, and then putting points on the board yourself. Great play by the defense. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. Fires to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Back to throw, it's Warner. Fires to the wideout. And the incomplete pass on third down, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's about. The officials offer the kneel, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Fair catch was called for, but there is a flag on the play, and we'll have to sort it out. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That's good for Rice Owls. First down. He leaves it with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. It's reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable with that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Throws to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. This offense has a second down play. They'll leave it with him. Breaks the tackle. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. And the Bearcats are on the move. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Got enough space. And there they go again. Another huge gain on the ground. Yeah, and you could see the running back, man. He was smelling the end zone. Nice cuts. Nice job getting all the way down the field. And he gets so close to punching it in. And you could tell he wanted to. But touchdown, Bearcats! And the pummeling has started. Wow, this offense. They have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. The AT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Oregon has opened up the playbook, and they are scoring in bunches right now. This offense has been electric. They're up by 31 over the Sharks. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. They'll give it to him again. Couldn't find a lane, a pickup of one to the 31. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. The give on the inside. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He's going to throw deep right side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown Owls. A great catch and run for six. And it took a minute, but the passing attack now on board. The first passing touchdown of the season. And it took to the second half, but I'll tell you what. This offense will find its rhythm. They'll grow. They'll get better throughout the season. And this is going to be a hard passing attack to stop. They'll line up to go for two.
looking to throw it's Warner. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over him football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. Though. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. On that RPO, QB is just trying to keep it himself and see if he can get the first down, but nothing doing. He wasn't able to spring free, just too much speed defensively, and now it sets up fourth down. And the Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll bring it back. It's Campbell working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. The touchdown drive cut the deficit last time they had it, forced the punt, now a chance to really make this a football game. And I think if you're the offensive coordinator here, you're revisiting that last drive and asking yourself, okay, what did I call? What worked? What can I keep dialing up so we can keep scoring? Dang right, because you got the momentum. You're back in this football game. Everything is going your way. Your defense just contributed, so that lead they had just keep chipping away, and who knows what will happen. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The third down offense has not been good, and add this one to the tab. Another third down stop. They give up the sack. They're down by three-plus possessions. Nothing going this offense's way. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Gonna run it. It's Gentry. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They go to the ground. And after a very short pickup on that run, we have come to the end of the third quarter. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Bearcats will try to pin them back with the punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws to the tight end. Got his man on the right. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Motion from the offense. To the air. It's Warner. He's got his man. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, looking again to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. Now the play fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Owls! Reeled it in and just made the house call. How 
about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to add another. Smashes it through for the PAT. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. Hold and fire complete. They get him down after he makes the catch. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. They'll give it to the back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? To the ground to try to move the chains. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. He now has 110 yards on the ground, and that will put him over 100 and what a way to start the season. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Bauer. Working that left side now. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. The Bearcats are marching down the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Evans. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. On second down, he'll fire. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They want to just keep throwing it. Another incompletion on third down. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. He's going to have to break out the Thunderfoot on this one. A 57-yard attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is even bigger. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Complete downfield. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. They'll go to the ground. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. To the air. It's Warner. He finds his man. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Rice rushes to the line. They run the reverse. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Fast motion from the offense. 
on second down. Just keeps firing. Just missed his man. Gave him just a little too much. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. He's got it. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. I love the awareness by the defense here. Everyone thinking first down, down close to the goal line, the offense is going to run the football, right? But this defense was ready for the chance that the offense might throw it. So defenders playing the pass and getting upfield, getting to the QB. Awesome job. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. They desperately need to get the score here on third and goal to have any kind of wild chance. And he can't find his man in the end zone as he was trying to pay off this red zone chance. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. Keep up them pass rushers, bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. You kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. The Bearcats get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Goes to the option. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. First down for this offense. He's going to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Campbell. Then they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. I tell you, this quarterback has just been in great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Tosses it incomplete. You want to have a lot of success on defense? Make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. This defense has been doing it time and time again. And you can tell this quarterback doesn't have a prayer. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. On the ground with the counter. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. 
No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. I know this is disappointing, but plenty of teams have suffered early losses and come back to have great seasons. I mean, think of 1983 Miami, one of the great teams of all time. Blown out in the opener, won the national championship. Well, some of us weren't alive. Everybody probably playing this game wasn't alive with that comment. But uh, yeah, great example, Reese. But listen, your season isn't over. Things still down the road for you to look forward to, still improve on, can still have all of your dreams out in front of you. But, you know, 83, Jesse, I know you were, you were playing college football then, but sure. <laughs> I, was, I think I had just learned how to walk. And it's funny, guys, you know, just like that 83 team, this team that lost here today, they are also very talented. They just got to take care of fixing up and cleaning up some of these mistakes. But no doubt, lots to play for moving forward. Can't wait to see what happens next week. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.